Rose here. We are cooking. Hello, darling. What's for dinner? What's for dinner today? I'm making dal. And I've prepared most of the ingredients. The first thing is we're going to put some oil in this pot. A um, couple of spoons. Even oil on hand is good. Then I've got two chopped up onions. Um, they are going to be cooked until they start to get a little bit clear on the edges. Also, we have ingredients. This is not yet chopped, a bell pepper. We of course have um, some rinsed um, and drained lentils. We have some canned tomatoes. Um, we have some coconut milk. We have a carrot, garlic, and um, ginger. And then I have the spices. And a little bit of sweetener of your choice. I'm just using that, it's easy. But anything will do. What for spices are you using? Um, okay. I've got curry powder, smoked paprika, chili, um, cumin, and ginger, and salt mm. and pepper. Okay. Yeah, so we need all of those. A little trick I like to do with um, cooking onions is if they seem to be going too fast, just add a little bit of water. Because, you know, if you can't get the onions properly cooked, they just never get cooked in the dish. So. If you add a bit of water, you can sort of be guaranteed that they're going to cook through and that water's just going to cook off. Now I'm putting the ginger and garlic in and just giving them a minute on their own to cook. And literally just a minute just, um, just to soften up and develop the flavours. And then, while that's happening, before the carrot goes in, I'll just show you a little trick with the um, capsicum here. It's going to take out the core. Boom, boom, boom. Makes it super easy for chopping your capsicum. You still have to trim it down a little bit. See, there's still a bit in there that you don't need. But yeah. My job on this business was to to remove the lids from the spices. <laughs> you're filming, baby. You ha you're busy. Now we're adding in everything smelling good here. Um, we're adding in the carrot and the capsicum, and I love dal with lots of veggies in it. Um, yeah, good way to get your five a day. So. That's just getting one turn around. Then we're going in with the spices. So I don't have the traditional spices that you would use, so I'm just I'm ad libbing. I'm putting a lot of curry powder in. Oh, smoked paprika. Come in. Quite a lot of cumin, a couple of teaspoons, ginger, and then chili flakes for the heat that you like, that will do us. Now the important thing here is to toast the spices. Salt and pepper is not so important, but you want to toast that. Can you show in this pot? You really want those spices to toast and become fragrant that will help develop the flavours. Guys, the spices are smelling amazing. So the next step here is to add the wet ingredients. And it doesn't really, it doesn't matter at all which order that everything's going to cook in now. It's just the last bit now. So, got a can of chopped tomatoes, got a can of coconut milk, and got some stock you can see that coming down really quickly and then I'm just going to add you could add any sweetener but we just want to balance the salty and the sweet to get that develop that umami flavors and then we're going to add in the lentils these lentils have been risen. so we get got all the lentils in guys and then we just need a good dash of salt and pepper and um, whoa, what was that it's very tropical here um, so good dash of salt and pepper 
some lemon, which we don't have on the table yet, and this needs to cook for at least 20 minutes, but it already looks amazing. Okay, you're cooking now, I will clean up. Oh, thanks darling. So it's really thickened down here guys and I just felt like it really needed, I mean we like it thick but it really just needs a little bit more liquid so I'm just adding half a cup of um, stock and some lemon juice and it's my last lemon, we have to put that on the list babe, um, but I just took the zest off because I want to use that somewhere else, um, such an amazing flavour, so you definitely want a good amount of lemon or lime in and then once you try it adjust the salt and pepper and if you come in close here honey, let's see how things are hopefully we don't get too much steam really thickened up a lot and you can see those lentils are breaking down and then what we have to do is taste it taste it Mmm, still needs five more. I can tell you one thing, it looks delicious. Couple of minutes more and then it should be ready. Hi guys, so we've got there. I just <laughs> want to show you um, how the end, the cooked texture is. So it's really creamy, all of the dal is cooked down. And what I've just done is because it looked a little bit dry is I've just I've just added a little bit of soy milk. I really didn't want to open another can of coconut milk. So it's just um, adds a little bit of extra creaminess and I've just added more salt and pepper as well. So guys, in a minute, let's have dinner. So now it's dinner time. It's all ready, best time of the day. Darling, don't forget to put a, bit, a little bit of lemon juice. Um, we are out of herbs, what to do, camping, um, and we're having it with some fresh bread. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Um, the exact details are in the description. And, um, yeah, more easy, um, affordable dinners coming soon. The bread is freshly baked today. Yeah. It's German-style bread. Mm-mm-mm. I would love your suggestions for what I should cook next. Let me know.